Here comes Vanilla Minecraft Season 2. Good morning, Minecraft fans. <laughs> it's Collins, and we're back in uh, Minecraft Vanilla. We are running this latest snapshot, 14W33A. We seem to have a little uh, texture issue here. Looks like some textures haven't been fixed or have been broken. I'm not really sure. Uh, they did fix the uh, chest thing. I'm trying to figure this out too. So, what will happen here? Let's do that. Yeah, it looks like some stair textures got messed up. I'm sure this will be fixed soon. I'll have to check and see if it's even been reported. I don't. <laughs> I haven't had time to report any of this stuff. It's been a busy summer stuff. Got new job going on, and that's the stone brick stairs. That that's goofy looking. That's really goofy looking. What's up with that? Yeah, uh, some things are okay. That's normal. Yeah, well, it's a textures thing. And I uh, creeper, <laughs> creeper, creeper. So what do we got going on here today? We got, you know, been kind of, I've been busy in real life. Got a new job that I've started, uh, started last Friday. So uh, today when I go into work, it will have been a week. Come on, come on. Here we go. It'll have been a week since I uh, started work. I've really, one of the things I've been trying to do, I'm trying to get, Six. I do. I have a hundred gold. All right. So let's stick a hundred gold in the hopper and uh, grab one of these buckets of lava. Where'd they go? There we go. And these guys can go back, right? Where'd you come from? You went over there. Mob drops. Organized man, everything in its place and a place for everything. Okay, let's get you a bucket of lava. Get some gold. That's gonna give us. Uh, I need more fences. Fences. I need power <laughs> rails. <laughs> That's what I need. I need powered rails. Uh, and I did get some more rails. Out of this is all stuff from uh, abandoned mine shaft stuff. I got a bunch of obsidian and some slime box blocks though, so let's take a look. We got this, uh, well we got the nether portal here, I think I'm going to have to move this. Um, they, well now that the textures are bugged, they fixed the recipe for fences for, uh, this is jungle wood, so jungle wood fences, all the, all the different types of fences seem to work right now, um, even if the textures are a little wonky, I'm sure that's a easy fix for them to figure out and I'm hoping it's been reported. So we got this rail track down here and this goes and we're gonna um, I'll put in the rail track. I think I'm gonna put power rails all the way down and uh, we probably won't use it all that much. So right now it stops here because this is where that hunting blind is. And there's another portal in there um, but it goes all the way down uh, into the desert because that's the test hunting blind. What we really want is a hunting blind in the desert. And oh, hey, more coal. So much coal. I got so much coal. I don't even bother with this stuff anymore. The fortune pick. Uh, so this is where. This is the end of the line. There's a bunch of caves I lit up over here. Um, but this is going to be where the hunting blind actually is. Out here in the desert. Nice big spot where there's not. It's desert all the way around pretty much as far as the eye can see. The only thing that I have to worry about before I do the hunting blind here is the village is right over there. So we're going to have to do a little pit my village. And I don't know if I want to do that on camera or not. But we're going to have to um, put some torches and stuff in the village because this chunk is going to be loaded if I'm in hunting blind because it's fairly close. And uh, we don't want to we don't want to lose our village. It's over there, just behind, past that temple. But we have to be careful because, 
you know, a little zombie invasion if the chunk's loaded at night and I'm out here hunting. Um, we're going to have to do a whole bunch of terraforming. Yeah. Um, but I want to put up another portal because that's... Uh, the train, the rail cart, minecart tracks, they're okay. In fact, I was going to run minecart tracks all the way up to the top here. I think I'll just do like a ladder thing. And one of the things I was thinking about is we can tr do the ladders with this stuff. Do I have? I don't have, but I have wood on me. Where's my crafting table? This is why you carry a bunch of wood around. You can make crafting tables, you can make sticks, you can do whatever. Uh, where do we want to throw this? Let's just throw this down here somewhere. That's a good spot. I wonder if this is fixed. Hmm. That's kind of a touch and go thing though. More bugs. If you're too close to the block when you place it, it doesn't place. That's actually been around for a while, I think. Um, but anyway, we end the rail cart. If we end the mine cart tracks like right here, and then just do this. Let's see. Before we do this, there's going to be sand at some point, so we want. Oh, come on! Climb the stairs, dig the hole. I'm almost there. And the sand falls. There we go. Okay, so let's try this out now. And the mine counter tracks, they're going to end. So I wanted to see what this would do. Because that's going to be all bouncy. Bouncy, bouncy. Did you not place right? Is that a display thing? Did it not go? It's there. It's a display thing. Yep. Uh, yeah. So the goal is if we can do this thing with the bouncies. Oh, I wonder if the bouncy breaks, uh, does it break sand when it's falling? That's a good question, huh? We'll wait for it and find out in a second. Nope, sand does not break when it b lands on the bounce pads from slimes. Good to know. But the point is, is I don't break when I <laughs> land on the bounce point pads either, right? Yeah, so I can... So this is like that water at the bottom of, this, of the ladder, so then you can just land in the water and you don't get hurt. But we can also land on the bouncy pads, and the reason why I think about this is, if we're gonna do, uh, if we're gonna do like roof of the nether stuff, yeah, boink. If we're gonna do roof of the nether stuff. We can't put water at the bottom of the stairs in the nether, but we can put these little slime pad things. So where is that at? That is right, at right here. Come on. Oh, texture glitches. Uh, what the hell? I gotta be careful. There's gonna be mobs around here in a second. So anyway, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do... Uh, ladder with slime pads at the bottom. Did something get placed? Yes, it did. They really need a different uh, sound for this than... Alright, so then we can just slime pad. It's a little weird, but that's what we're going to do. And we'll also put another portal around here somewhere, and so we're not going to do this diagonal thing. The minecart track's going to end we go up the ladder and the hunting blind will be up there. Uh, but let's get out of here because we're spending too much time out here at night and that village is kind of close. We don't want a zombie invasion to destroy the whole village. 
So we put a bunch of torches up and stuff inside the village, and hopefully all the little villagers can, and a bunch of doors. Hopefully there will be so many villagers that most of them will survive, and, uh, you know, everything will be kosher. We hope. So we started out. <laughs> Good morning, Minecraft. Uh, one of the sad things that happened this week, Robin Williams passed away. Poor guy. Um, apparently he was battling depression and sad stuff. Um, which is interesting. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could say I was battling depression. I had some, I had a little bit of a lag in videos. I can respect that, though. You know, things happen. Just uh, stay upbeat. Just realize whatever the heck is going on, you can deal with it. I don't know, I'm not the best motivational speaker, but... Yeah. Oh, we got some clay too. We're gonna have to play with the clay stuff. How much? I got a bunch of glass. Obsidian. We'll go over. We'll do obsidian stuff. The glass. I don't need the glass. I don't know what I need. <coughs> so there's the rail cart tracks that go down to that little hunting blind thing, and then this is like chaotic. Uh, this is a chaotic uh, branch mine <laughs> yeah, to go with the chaotic slime chunk. So let's put some of these in here. And that's the top of the slime chunk. And then this is another part of the slime chunk that... Alright, I feel a little bit better now. I keep worrying I'm going to fall down into that thing. And then there's the bottom of it, with the extra jack-o'-lanterns. Extra pumpkins that we can use for jack-o'-lanterns. So this thing's all carved out, obviously. We looked at this thing last time. Oh yeah, let's... Let's try this. It doesn't bounce much when you're... It's got a funky bounce when you're on the ladder. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it works. Yeah. But I got branched mine all over the place. And there's a whole bunch of Ben and mine shaft. Uh, we gotta look though. Because we have a bunch of... You know what? Let's go over to that hunting blind. Can we get over there? We have a whole bunch of... Or not a whole bunch of, but we have some... Endermang pearls. Show me Endermang pearls. So here's the back path to the hunting line. Come on, come on. I like this. You hold down control and, and you always run. Because normally when you run, you bump a stair or something. You slow down, bump a wall. You just hold down control and then it goes right back to running. Uses food, but I got food. So yeah, here's the nether portal that I haven't linked up yet. Here's the beta hunting blind. I guess you would call it this. The alpha hunting blind. <laughs> that makes it sound funny. Uh, there's one ender pearl in there. Oh, sweet. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's more aggressive. Were they? They weren't that aggressive before. I don't know. This seems to work, though. So we're going to have to do this thing. We're going to have to put something up top here. The crow's nest. And then we're going to have to have some fences and... I think we'll do a combination of wooden fences and then the um, stone brick walls. But uh, we'll do something like that. We'll have to figure out some way to get more than just a bunch of zombies into this thing. Um, just to see how many ender pearls we can get. But uh, we got one here and I know I got some back at the base. So here we go. Uh, mop chest. Oh, 13. So I got 14 ender pearls. Oh. And to throw them, we need eyes of ender. So we're going to need blaze rods, too. Right, why didn't I think about that? All right, so... One blaze rod makes two blaze powders. <laughs> I, I need a... Um, yeah... I need a TE3 pulverizer for these things. Um, 
let's see, what are we doing? We, I made brewing stands, so whatever, these can be, so there's six, six eyes of ender. So now we got something we can throw for uh, finding the stronghold, because I think that's one of the other things. We can Look at all this. These are all stairs, funky textures. We play stairs, the textures weren't that weird, but stairs got funky textures. Everything has funky textures. Yeah, and then I'm guessing that's all going to be fixed, but whatever. Look at all the mobs. And I've been mixing up the trees just to get different types of wood. We'll have to do a banner or something. Maybe we'll do, yeah, we'll figure something out. We'll do some more banners. So I mentioned this last time. This is ever, people probably know it from the Van Halen song, but this is the international symbol for a uh, diver in the water. Diver down, um, which is why I made that, not necessarily for the Van Halen s song, album, whatever. Uh, and that thing looks obnoxious, but when we, uh, we're going to rip this down once we figure out what works, and then we're going to put one up that looks kind of cool and works kind of cool. And I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to tear all that down. We have to figure out how to do sugar cane. We didn't automate sugar cane yet. And uh, when I do that, we'll uh, rip all that stuff off the roof. So we'll see if I can do this now. So it's daytime. Almost everybody's dying off. But the spiders and the creepers stay. Because they don't burn up in the sun. So if I do it right... Oh, check it. Buffed spider. Really? Okay, so if I do this right, I can... No. No, no, that worked last time. With a stone sword, I was able to kill him before he blew up. Maybe not. Maybe he was damaged last time. Yeah, so... Uh, <coughs> rule number one for creeper explosions. Always fill in the bottom, the stuff that's out of sight, with cobblestone, because... Uh, that makes it less... Uh, Less messy if he blows up in this if you blow up another one in the same spot. So yeah, let me fill this in and we'll be back. Here's the other silly thing that's happening. So there I got two piggies in here. Uh because I mentioned they fixed the animals being led up a one block gap thing. So I was able to bring a second pig over here and then I bred and had three pigs and every time. One pig disappears. I don't understand why. <laughs> I still have a bunch of cows. I still have a bunch of sheep, including the one I dyed red to make the diver down. And no shears in here. Uh, yeah, the pigs disappear. I don't understand. Little piggy dies. Hopefully, eventually they'll fix the fence gap thing where you can just put up fences. Because, I mean, that's how animals work, right? You have a farm and you have a fence and animals stay inside the fence. Why, uh, why do I have to dig a hole in the ground? to get around Minecraft bugs. It doesn't look like a real farm. Yeah. Uh, but I got a bunch of stuff, a bunch of stuff going on in real life. That's the problem. It's summer, so there's a lot of summer stuff. I was out of town last weekend. Got new the new job going on. I've been doing a bunch of stuff for the new job. It's got a crazy commute, so I come home from work and I'm just beat. And then the place I'm staying at is temporary, so uh, it's hard to find a nice quiet time where I can just record without any distractions. Uh, yeah. So not a lot of Minecraft videos lately. In fact, I was gonna, I wanted to do another Super Hostile this week, but I didn't have a chance to do it. Um, and I didn't really have a whole lot planned for this. I wanted to plan everything out. I was gonna do nether portals in the, in the roof of the nether link them all up, put some of them bounce pads up so we can get down from the roof of the nether into the, the uh, nether fortress. Uh, maybe find the stronghold. I had a bunch of stuff planned, but it just is not happening this week. So, wow. Um, I'm going to have to check time, but I think we're kind of, we're running out. And there's not a lot this episode, and I'm so sorry, guys. We will put out more videos. Come winter time, uh, you know, Kids are starting to school up again, and things settle down. There's not crazy summer stuff happening every weekend. Uh, 
we'll get more videos going. We'll do a lot more Minecraft. Maybe we'll do some more modded stuff. The modded stuff seems to have gotten a little stagnant. It's not just me, but in the community in general. Like, there's nothing... I don't know. Not a lot of updates and stuff. I think everybody's trying to get into, uh... Like, 1.7 modded Minecraft stuff. Well, maybe we'll look at that. We can do some of that stuff again. And then I'll do some uh, modded Minecraft tutorials. We'll do some vanilla tutorials for stuff. Because uh, that's me. I'm the tinkerer. I like messing with stuff. Oh, uh, we got levels though, hey. But yeah, I like messing with stuff. So, uh, tinkering around with things, figuring stuff out. And, I, you know, I can help you guys out. I'll figure something out and uh, do a little tutorial, show you guys how it works. Uh, and that way you guys can do it in your worlds too. Uh, but we have uh, stop saying uh all the time. What do I do with all this rotten flesh? I want modded Minecraft where I can do something like cook using this fuel. <laughs> uh, come on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give me a stick and some iron. Okay, did my gold all cook up? Oh, we got a bunch. Okay, so. I did, I got a hundred gold, sweet. So I meant without the hopper down below to take it all out, I get experience when it put comes out and uh I still got enough for uh to cook all a hundred off the lava bucket. Awesome. So I'll use that for some power tracks and stuff. And then we were gonna do sword with a thirty enchant on it. Cause I got a bunch of iron picks. Sharpness, that's what we want. But sharpness three is not the greatest. And that's all there is. See, that's the... Yeah, whatever. So where's the goodies thing? So I did one before. That has a whole bunch of stuff. I wonder if I can combine the smite and stuff. Because unbreaking, unbreaking knockback sharpness would be good. Um, I did a couple picks. I got efficiency. There's another fortune pick to for when this one dies. This one has silk touch. This one's just my breaking... Uh, getting... Um, obsidian pick, and then most of this armor drops. That one is good, but I got the diamond protection, fire protection. This depth strider is awesome. A little bit of aqua affinity there, yeah. So anvil. So if I put the sharpness one first, oh, it does work. So it will overwrite the smite with sharpness. Uh, but we want to rename that. Oh, look, eleven, twelve. They change this around. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just do that. Um. Ironmonger. Ha. <laughs> All right. So now we got a decent sword. We'll use that for when we do adventure and stuff. Because right now I've just been running around doing different things, and um, the stone sword's just fine. I don't really need anything better at this point. Uh, if we go like find this stronghold, start lighting stuff up, we'll have mobs everywhere. But just running around doing branch mining, running around in the world. I've been playing with the slime thing. This slime chunk works awesome. I got enough. I got it all carved out, so the mobs are like everywhere. Look, there's one now. Yeah, it's... Oh, that's the bounce pad at the bottom. <laughs> Look, that's a slime. It's not a slime. Come on, Collins, figure it out. But yeah, there's always these guys. Come on. And then all you gotta do is kill the bi the large and the mediums, and then the smalls don't hurt you. You just hit them with whatever. But we need a looting sword, and then we'll... I don't really need any more. I got so many slime balls, because look how much this makes. So that was one slime, and I got 17 slime balls. And there'll be more down here. And stone swords are a dime a dozen, so I hear more. There you go. Maybe at some point we'll automate this. We'll put some, like a trappy thing in the corner that kills them automatically. And some hoppas or something. And then we can just automatically, uh, all we gotta do is go down. But I like the experience too. Well, we'll find a source of experience. Oh, and I used... That's the problem nowadays. 
So with the new enchanting system, your enchants only cost three levels, but the anvil costs full levels. So normally I just went down to level 27 and then boom, got it back really quick. But that anvil, now I got to get 10 levels back. Of course, it's easier to get them back, but whatever. We'll get used to the new leveling system. Uh, here's one. S this is my one source of experience. So the, the slime chunk gives me a little XP, as you can see. We got another source of XP, which is that stupid uh, spawner that we <laughs> kind of ghettoed. It's it's really ghetto. Come on, come on. So down here, there's a, a one zombie uh, dungeon, and I turned it into super ghetto. Um, well, you can see I did my thing at the top, so this is the height that it would be for a spawner room, but, uh, and I started measuring out the bottom thing, uh, but right now it's just ghetto zombie. So this is my other source of XP, ghetto XP, and then the rest of it's just world XP, like in that hunting blind. But there's no drop, there's no piston, there's no lava, there's no nothing, it's just this. Uh, the only downside to this thing is is it's open over here and with the zombie invasion or the zombie thing the way they work now they they crawl out of the woodwork and start they find me so I'll be sitting in here killing these guys and some other zombie from like you know 100 blocks away <laughs> whatever <laughs> will show up in this room he'll come walking in uh, but yeah these are really my only sources of XP so we'll have to find the stronghold. We'll have to do some sort of Enderman farm. Oh, I did this because... Uh, I don't even remember. Okay, so here's some more lava. We need that for obsidian and, and lava buckets for fuel. And I didn't finish mining all the coal out of this. Oh, I was going to go up to the roof and see... Oh, no wasn't the roof. This is goes up to the minecart tracks. Okay. Yeah. But you know, I think we're filling up episode, so... <laughs> encore, encore! <laughs> I thought I was done recording, but I had to I had to g get this. I was cutting video and doing some... setting up minecart tracks is what I was doing. Uh... <laughs> so my minecart tracks... Let's do that. Oh wow. Oh Nelly. We messed it up. <laughs> so minecart tracks you uh powered rail. Done. Now that rail's powered. <laughs> but let's go. <laughs> oh wow. D I I yeah. So I was just digging a hole in the ground to put powered rails in to do that. I totally forgot. There's freaking lava down here. <laughs> and I landed in it. I did manage to get, put a brick underneath my feet and get out in time, but lava, yeah. So, never dig straight down. That's a rule, right? That's like a Minecraft thing. Everybody knows that. No, don't dig straight down. And I did it. So yeah, this is powered rail. You reach underneath, throw a lever up. Done. All right. Sorry we don't have more uh, cool stuff going on, but know that there's things in the works. And when uh, busy, crazy, summer fun stuff stop, slows down a little bit, we will record a whole bunch of video and have a whole bunch of fun. We'll do some experimenting. We'll make some crazy stuff. We'll get some tutorials going. We'll do all sorts of fun stuff. But until then, we're going to sign off. So I will catch you guys later. Times three wood. Three wood makes a wooden pick. Three stone makes a stone pick. We're in the stone age, baby. It's a creeper world.